way too fast. Now, sh she is super fast. Well, to think come about. on. Okay, right there. Bam. I just have to wait until she. Kind of stops, and then I can throw the ball at her. Okay. Nope. She takes the ball from here, and I can throw it at That's all there is. Really? I can only hit her when... Um, She's picking up the snowball. That's fast, real fast. Now, I just need to hit her once. Whew, that was fast. Done. <laughs> you were right. That really works. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. He looks so evilly at her. Like evilishly. Evil. Very evil. Very evil. <laughs> he knows he will look very evil. Saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Enlighten me. Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. What? Okay. Siri, sure you know what you're getting into? Yes, and I must do this. Come, we shall talk on the way. Got to visit the Emperor Wait. first. Something I gotta tell you before we go. You know, the Emperor really wanted you found. Yennefer mentioned something. Wanted you to visit him. Why would you tell me now? Because this could be your last chance to see your... father. Think I should go? Okay. Yeah, you should. Probably just wants to talk. How can you be sure? What if he wants something more? Promised me he wouldn't force you to do anything. So I should go? He is yeah. your father. Pazima is on the way. I suppose we can drop in. Awesome. Ready? Let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the Defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. Not very nice of her to decide that somebody should die. Would you look at that?
your Imperial Majesty, Geralt of Rivia, and... Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, Queen of Sintra, Princess <coughs> of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton. Heiress to Innes Ard Skellig and Innes Ann Skellig, and Suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Get used to it. Before long, every soul from Nilfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. I always keep my word. I always keep my word. As do I. Your Wait. reward. Exactly. That is what I'm talking about. Thanks. Thanks. Carol? She's like... Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and that makes an even one hundred. That is all of it. Initial here, please. I'm not sure if they are um, joking or if that was the sum we had to go through all of this. Where's my castle? Now forgive me. I wish to speak to my daughter. Maybe that was a hundred thousand. Follow me, sir. White Wolf, good to see you. Good to see you too. You had no trouble crossing the Ponta, I trust. No. I take it you crossed via the ford near Banglin? It's fortunate you did not choose to ride through Rhind, a troubled region still. Radovid seeks to breach the front in the west. But he'll not succeed. Not before the princess becomes empress and we bring order to the area. Yeah. Pretty clear it's a done deal. Of course. While we're actful, not one to celebrate an offer not yet made, but this is not the kind of offer one refuses. Exactly. Indeed. Can you imagine? I thought only the wine-addled minds of bards and poets could give birth to such stories. The prodigal daughter of the most powerful ruler in the continent's history returns on the eve of his final triumph to embrace her inheritance. <laughs> Simpletons adore such stories as they do the princesses, ever beautiful and delicate father. Geralt, we're leaving. She so didn't nice agree. You, my lady. Likewise. Time we were on our way. A shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. That makes one of us. Well? If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. By the way, that spectacle with the coin. What was that? Emperor's got lots. Couldn't see why he shouldn't share some with us. Is that what this was about? Yes. From the start? No. It's always been about you. Only you. It sure seemed My like it was about the in there. Syria. If it wasn't, you shouldn't have accepted it. Say no more. I'll be over it by the time we reach Velen. Now it looks like we're gonna go out After with that. Of Morin, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses. Helps us Syria to get. Who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die.
That was a good battle though. Now that's a little bleak. We have to row. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the Baron is. He found his wife, took her away, somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. You actually know Imlarith will be there? How? We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest, to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally, judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. Let's go then. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night. Now let's see where exactly did we found ourselves soon. Okay, that's an okay place. Yeah, interestingly, they only barred this part of the camp. The feast of gifts. I have no idea why. Avalach claims vanity is Imlarith's greatest weakness.